the death toll in Bosnia alone reached 19 including 9 found on Saturday when waters receded from the northeastern town of Dobic. And thousands of volunteers joined soldiers, police and firefighters in building flood barriers made of sandbags in the Serbian capital Belgrade and the western town of Sabak. And the river Sava hit its highest recorded level in Serbia, the army said rising at a rate of 3 centimeters, 1 inch per hour after several days of the heaviest rainfall in almost 120 years. And three people were confirmed dead in Serbia by Friday and Prime Minister Aleksandar Vucic said there were more fatalities in the town of Obranovac, 30 kilometers, 18 miles, southwest of Belgrade where soldiers deployed huge amphibious vehicles to rescue hundreds of people crammed into a primary school. And authorities in Serbia said they would not give a death toll for Obranovac, a town of some 30,000 people, until the waters had receded and the extent of the damage was clear. And a Reuters photographer said the entire town center was submerged under 2 to 3 meters, 7 to 10 feet of water and tens of thousands of homes in Serbia were cut off from electricity in around 150,000 in Bosnia, where Dobij suffered the most. And, it was especially difficult in Dobij because the floodwaters acted as a tsunami, 3 to 4 meters high. No one could have resisted, said Goko Vasic, police chief in Bosnia's autonomous Serb Republic. And in Belgrade, residents donated food, clothes and bedding. Police appealed for more boats. A steady rain fell on Saturday and more was forecast for Sunday. And wait and hope and, now we have to sit and wait, to wait for that next wave and to hope Vucic told a joint news conference with Bosnian Serb leader Milore Dodik. And in the Bosnian border town of Bilina, authorities said they would evacuate 10,000 people. More than 15,000 have already been evacuated in Serbia. And, we left behind the car, motorcycle, tools, all our furniture, valuables, said Dragan Ilic, an Obranovac resident evacuated to a shelter in Belgrade. We just grabbed our mobile phones and left. All our ads were left behind. The whole house is underwater. And in Bosnia, helicopters evacuated people from the northern towns of Samak and Madrika and trucks and bulldozers carried food to the hardest hit areas. And about 1,000 people, including babies, pregnant women, invalids and the elderly were evacuated from the region of Zelges Nobolji in central Bosnia, where hundreds of homes were destroyed in landslides. And I think we'll never be able to return to our village, local Muslim Imam Zudija Rizal told Reuters by telephone from Zelges Nobolji. It has disappeared. And a Reuters cameraman said people were still leaving the area by foot. The roofs of houses and cars poked out from under mud, trees and rocks. And only three houses survived, all others were buried, totally gone, said one villager, Prajib Menziovic. And on Friday, Serbia's state-run power utility electric private Redis Rabij upstreamed output at its largest hydropower plant, Jerdap 1, on the Danube River by a quarter. And it also closed down 1,650 MW in capacity of its largest coal-fired power plant Nikola Tesla, tent on top of a 10% cut in total output a day before. And flooding of the Kolabara, the Danube and the Sava rivers brought down cables and transformal stations, soaked coal depots that feed the power plant and caused a fire inside the Kolabara complex which had been shuttered since Thursday. And, additional reporting by Daria Sito Suchik and Maja Zuvela in Sarajevo, Fedja Grulovic in Belgrade, writing by Matt Robinson, editing by Sophie Hay.